I there decided I'd have a go at making one of these mousetrap powered cars. Had quite a bit of trouble locating one of these old fashioned mouse traps, but eventually found an old style hardware store and managed to get a couple. Found a plastic coat hanger, thought that would be handy for the arm. Cut the straight bit off it. Measured it up against the side of the mouse trap arm. Marked it off. Found a nice big paper clip. Straightened it out a bit. And got the gas ring going in the kitchen. Heated it up. And melted a slot in the side of the arm. While I was at it, I also melted a hole in the other end. Back with the mouse trap, checked that it fitted in the slot. And stuck some hot glue on it to seal it in place. Next, I used some oval conduit, plastic conduit. I've used that before on some of my cars, seems to work quite well. Marked it up. I'm using old pencil, uh, ball pen tubes to do the cross members. Two at one end to hold the mouse trap. And I added another one at the other end to give it of extra strength where the wheel's going to go through. And I mounted the mouse trap on it. Plenty of hot glue. Next I thought I'd do a quick video on how to make the CD hubs out of plastic bottle tops. These particular ones have got a handy little mark in the middle so you can find the centre easily. Just poke a hole through. And then this is the actual wooden skewer I'm going to use as the axle. And just push that through to make sure it fits. Nice tight fit. glue gun out. Just run a bead of hot glue all the way around the edge of the bottle top. Have to work fairly quickly to keep it hot. And then push it onto the CD and align it so you've got an equal gap all the way around it. Turn it over and do the other one. four times for the four CDs or DVDs when you're putting the axle on it's handy to sharpen both ends of the axle then it pushes into these bottle tops easily I also thought I'd do a quick little video shot 
of me gluing the rubber sheathing off of some power cable onto the outside edge of the CD to get a rubber tyre. You could also use a balloon cut into strips and just stretch that over the outside of the CD. It's a bit fiddly but once you've done one or two it's quite easy to do this. So say the rubber here it's the insulation off of a power cable. Strip the copper out the middle of it and uh, you've got this rubber you can just, uh, it's got a slot all the way along it then, and you can actually squeeze it onto the outside of the CD. I use this method rather than the balloon strips because I think it's a bit more durable, lasts a bit longer. sticky tape on it to hold it in place while it dries. Added this cable tie in the middle just to give the um, give a grip or a, a hook for the string that's going to go up to the lever arm. I actually used fishing line to join it all together. Nice big loop and made it slightly shorter than the full length. Okay, first attempt. Looked like it was going to go and then stopped. Pretty disappointing really. Clearly what I've done is I've made that lever arm much too long for that mousetrap. It just hasn't got the strength to pull it. So I made a hole halfway up the lever arm, so I'm halving the length of the arm. Or halving the leverage. Set it up again. Those bottle tops are quite handy for turning the wheel. As you see we're winding up the fishing line here. There goes the arm. And you can see it's attached halfway up. Thought I'd use the mouse trap catch just to lock it in place. Proved to be a bit of a f fuss. I could have just let it go. But 
in the end it stayed. And this time off we go. Obviously it's not going to travel as far because there's not as much line in use but it's more than enough to go up length of my kitchen and that's all I ever try and do. If you were doing this for a school project then you'd need to go a lot further. After making that video it occurred to me that rather than reducing the length of the arm I could increase the diameter of the back axle and that would have the same effect. So I got a bit of foam rubber in a circle, added that to the back axle, taped it in place, put a little peg on it and tried again and hey presto it works fine. Now obviously there's an optimal size. The skewer on its own was too thin and the foam that I've added is probably much too big so you could play with this yourself and find the best size axle to get the right sort of gearing to get your mousetrap car moving up the track to the best distance.